rockers and mercurians i have got to weigh in on this new ice spice situation and yes pun intended with her recent weight loss but this situation is unhinged i cannot believe it um first of all i need to do a sincere apology to baby storm baby storm a baby storm whatever you call her from um she was ice spice's ex-best friend who originally exposed her text messages being shady to Nicki Minaj and also saying that everybody's jealous of her, of even other artists. And I think she even shaded um, Dolce and Cleopatra, who we're talking about today. Um, you know, recently, even Nicki Minaj unfollowed Ice Spice along with JT, which I was a little bit surprised about the JT part. Not too surprised, but a little bit surprised. Ice Spice, I wasn't that surprised about that unfollowing. Um, and recently, I was just thinking about you know, with all the things that, that are transpired with this new Cleopatra leaking, and she's she's a rapper. She, I don't know if you guys know her. She's a really she was actually more famous than Ice Spice at one point. Um, but you know, the light skin privilege. Anyway, so she has come out and talked about her experience going on tour with Ice Spice and how terrible and awful her experience had been, and how betrayed she felt by Ice Spice. And she did like a series, of, I think six or seven videos. I think it's six. I think I kind of watched all of them. I believe it's six videos. Um, and she had discussed her experience with Ice Spice and how shady it was. And it honestly was very telling about the kind of person that Ice Spice was. A lot of what she said had to um, correspond with what Baby Storm was exposing about her in those text messages, where she said that um, that Nicki Minaj is what she say uh, ungrateful, or just like her mom and delusional and all kind of stuff like that which was out of control because you do not talk about the queen like that i don't even i wouldn't even give an f about ice spice if it wasn't for the queen and i even tweeted something saying talking about how i don't understand how Nicki minaj even thought or ever thought to get to claim that ice spice was the princess of anything and i know some people think that oh well, she meant the princess the people's princess because days magazine said that she's the people's princess but no i mean when you're the queen and you say finally after all these years that one girl is the princess because she's working on a deal with you for your heavy on it records which which she was working with Nicki minaj at the, at the time which is where some of the drama came from about the negotiations when you do that you um you're saying that she's the princess of rap. You know, that, that's what I saw it as. A lot of people saw it the same way. That tweet got seen over 30,000 times already. I just re reposted it and uh, reposted and shared my opinion on it. And people just started going crazy in the comments, attacking me and stuff for what I felt. That's fine. I don't care. Um, but yeah, with this new situation and watching all of Cleopatra's, Cleopatra's videos about the very subpar, almost slave-like treatment that she was receiving from her so-called friend ice spice during her tour that she was put onto last minute to do um damage control for the baby store the baby storm and text message leakings that happened which also by the way when the baby storm leaks happened whenever ice spice finally talked about it she she pitched she pitched it as being betrayed by a best friend uh, being betrayed um and it was just shady that she would do this for just the, the cloud or whatever all this stuff meanwhile baby storm was popping before ice spice as well but because she's a dark darker skin skin queen um she didn't get as much uh, not as much recognition for her talent and her skill she is talented and skilled i did not like how baby storm handled the situation originally because i'm like when you leak somebody's messages especially when they're they consider yourself your, your best friend or whatever that's just shady stuff you know i went through something similar i'm not going to it because that drama is in the past right now but it's very damaging and very insulting when somebody leaks private messages about um, private private messages to the press and to the public so um it's very it's just effed up situations right so when cleopatra was over here talking about how she was put onto the tour last minute didn't have a room some um, ice spice security guard wouldn't even carry her bags you know um when he carried back like she was trying to play i can tell the ice spice was doing some power plays on cleopatra and i'm like girl how are you going to bring somebody in for damage control and then create more damage look how worse look how much worse the situation is ice spice has lost i think five hundred thousand subscribers or followers something crazy she lost a lot of followers um according to um social blade who has been discussing this situation it is very shocking that she is gonna let herself continue the same cycles like why where's the pr team you know she just had another scandal recently with um with the wig the wig technician the one the, the wig designer who was a fan of Nicki minaj coming out and saying that 
she stole all those wigs like she she had her she had um i spice had her create all these wigs or the company i don't know if it's her or him um the company create all these wigs just for her not to pay say there's no budget there take the wigs on tour you know she sent originally all the inspiration from Nicki minaj saying that her she wants her wigs to, to give this but then but also in her little orange color that she's signature known for um her little orange it's um annie her uh, orphan annie kind of look um but she wanted to all be in that so she's like she's like give me Nicki minaj but make it but make it orphan annie you know that's what it was giving and so she called her out like or he whoever whoever it was the company called her out and said hey um i didn't get paid this is shady i did you i did you right like i've been working with you for all these years i didn't expect to be treated this way all that so people are coming out saying how, how badly they're being treated by Ice spice really going into the um the mean girl behavior that baby storm had exposed Ice spice of like she already said that she's been a mean girl she already said that she you know even was cheating on her man um um riot who i thought riot was rainbow but okay i guess maybe he's not i don't know i i, I thought he was rainbow i still kind of do think he is but um apparently they've been dating but he's she's been disrespecting and cheating with with rappers and stuff and, and even physically uh, physically attacking that's what allegedly according to baby storm and the messages that we saw from ice spice that she did not deny by the way she never denied any of these messages she just said she felt she felt hurt that she could be betrayed that way you know girl like what do you mean betrayed anyway so with this situation it's it's a done deal you know the issue is, is that if there was some more talent there with Ice Spice, we would we can forgive a lot of this. We forgive a lot of people with talent. Every single Ice Spice song sounds exactly the same, in my opinion. Even this new this new one she said that she's releasing, it sounds so similar to um, everything else on the album already. Like I'm telling you, I'll be I'll be playing the album when I'm walking, and I just been like, is this song is this the same song? And I'd be looking at three songs past. We have three past, three songs into the album. I'm thinking we're on the same first song again because that's how short they are and also how much uh, monotonous they are, right? Um, so in, the talent's not there. When you listen to somebody like um, Cleopatra, who's the rapper who's just now recently exposed Ice Spice, or you listen to Baby Storm, or really anybody, um, you even like I say, even Lotto sounds has more different 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 differentiation than Ice Spice does. You know, it's it's wild to see like the lack of growth you know and i think it's because she's in a stunted space cleopatra claimed that even being around ice spice was like a dark energy a dark spirit um she felt dark energy dark vibes from her and so this isn't something that is to be played with you know like i like i gotta say i believe cleopatra i believe her because she spoke from her heart she wasn't trying to get this woman canceled she's just like hey this is who you guys think you guys are all supporting you know it's somebody who i thought i was a who i thought i was on um, friends with you know cleopatra even said that some of the original beef that happened was when she um when ice spice got mad at cleopatra for not confirming that she is um confirming that she is um nigerian you know that her dad is nigerian or whatever meanwhile um cleopatra just met her a month before so it's like she's not her pr she didn't know that there's an interview and apparently she didn't confirm it and ice spice got mad about that um that's how some of the original drama started but of course when all the baby storm situation went down with another darker skinned woman um because that's what a lot of the text messages were text messages were saying that ice spice was kind of a colorist you know that's what that's what there was that's what the text messages kind of show and that's what i that's what it kind of gave at the time i kind of defended her because i'm like we all talk kind of spicy with our friends you know we say kind of you know wild stuff out there stuff not expecting it to be public but as it continued and went on it was just honestly too much hold on of course there's a there's an ambulance going on right now um hope anybody who's who that's for hope they're doing well sending sending prayers to them sending prayers to whoever this ambulance is going towards you know i really hope that they're okay you know that's you never want to call the ambulance you never want to have to have that call on you i'm sure they're i just hope whoever that's going to is it's okay right now just sending lots of well wishes to them all right um but okay so this with this situation with ice spice um being labeled as a colorist she called her friend her darker skinned friend to come out here and try to help with damage control and then treats her worse then she treated baby storm maybe she maybe she maybe she there was more to baby storm maybe there's more that happened to her that i don't know maybe so maybe, so maybe baby storm did get treated even worse than this um the crazy part too just a little side note is that when baby storm exposed ice spice for talking trash about cleo cleopatra there's a text message that said that um cleopatra reached out to ice spice and ice spice was like 
um, she was like, um, I'm, uh, you know, she was like, she's, she said she reached out and she said uh, she was so happy. She signed a mad fake. She was calling Cleopatra mad fake. She, and Cleopatra said that she loved her before she before she got off the phone. And I spice is like, no, you don't. You know, all that. Like, this very negative energy, negative vibes. Um, and I, for me, I felt like Miss um, like Cleopatra, let's call her Miss Cleo. <laughs> I felt like Cleopatra seems like a genuine person. And so she was saying that and she really felt that genuine love. Like, she she's about that life you know she's in the street she's a real she has a, her own man you know she has her own career she's been doing her thing for a long time i felt like if she says that then she meant that you know and it's, it just felt very dark energy for um you know people sometimes people project their their own dark energy so she may project a fakeness onto cleopatra when really i spice is the one that's fake you know um and so on top of that she's she's put into this into uh, cleopatra talks about how she's thrown into the tour last minute she's not even able to bring in her assistant with her i spice confirmed um lets her know that she's going to take care of her she doesn't she doesn't have to you know worry about it she's going to be with her all that stuff that all changes on the tour you know she doesn't i spice doesn't even want her in a room that often you know she has to bunk with her, the with the hair technician with with um with I Spice's hair person, Cleopatra's forced to go hang, to go stay with her room. She didn't get her own room. Um, when her when I, when Cleopatra brings out an assistant, they don't do any accommodations for the assistant. They basically wanted her alone and struggling, is what Cleopatra said about the situation. And I'm like, that's really effed up, you know. Like you bring this girl on last minute, like the day before, you know. Of course she's gonna take the opportunity because she's like, okay, well, you know, this is good for my career. I'm gonna go out and get exposure. She's an independent artist. Why wouldn't she, you know? And this is a friend. She thought this was a friend of hers, but she was using her the whole time. And you see that a lot in the L.A. Hollywood life. And Cleopatra even says that Ice Spice has become Hollywood and become like demonic, like Hollywood, which is ran by Satanists. Let's be real. Uh, we can go into that in a different video, but it, that's that makes total sense. We Ice Spice has been called out for throwing up, you know, different Satanist symbols and stuff like like that and stuff like that, all that kind of stuff she's been doing um, with with Taylor Swift. Who let's not even go in. Let's not even go there right now. But um, it's just very. It was very disheartening to see the experience that she went through. Like not, like you know, they they even gave Cleopatra, um, they gave her, they gave her drama and and strife, and strife over a chicken salad. You can even order a chicken salad without having some drama unfold about how she's not in the budget. How are you gonna invite somebody on the tour? You can't even afford a chicken salad for them. It was supposed to be a multi-million dollar award um grammy nominated artist you know like you like be so for real right now be so for real you invited her you know she had her own life she she can she can schedule her own life and she like people are saying like oh she's broken she's entitled like she doesn't deserve this she, like what are you talking about people try to come for cleopatra saying that she's ungrateful for this opportunity when she was misled like she was misled to give to be given an opportunity that wasn't there you know, if she knew she'd be disrespected, she probably would have said, oh, heck no, I'm good on this. But she was thought she was going out with a friend. And so I don't understand where that, where that angle comes from, you know? And um, to the response for a lot of this situation, for a lot of these things that, um, cause, cause she came out like, Cleopatra um, responded to I Spice about all of this and some long text messages, messages that I did read. Um, and I Spice was very just dismissive about the whole situation and and just flipped it, tried to flip it like, you know, or, like a narcissist would do. A narcissist would do um, and try to flip it on Cleopatra as if she is ungrateful and she's a bad person and she's all this, um, which is very dark to see that she didn't really give a F about Cleopatra. It was always about, you know, you know, um, this damage control. And then even when she was confronted with some of the drama i spice said oh well have you double checked with the people you think are cool with you they don't really like basically insinuating that some of the people in the crew of i spice's team doesn't really f with cleopatra and that they're that they're being fake with her or whatever so okay great so now you just prove that you're fake and your team is fake too because now she was thinking that she had a good rep a good repertoire with some of the people on your team but yet you're now saying that's 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 wrong so great fake person fake team great that's that's even worse for her right um and then I Spice says like, oh, do you, are you forgetting all the times we went to a theme park and we went to the Italian restaurant and you ate all the food up so much? You're, she called her a vacuum. How dare you call somebody a vacuum? That's basically fat shaming. So offensive um, that you would call her a vacuum when you just lost weight and you're and the, you're not beating those Olympic uh, those Olympic rumors. It's not it's not beating. You're not beating them honestly. Like you, it's giving oh 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 Olympic. Like it's giving that for you. Um, and so I just was so in shock to see her response to it and to her lack of PR, like all this team, you don't have a good PR agent to tell you to shut the F ASAP, 
you know like are you serious like that's wild that is wild that you would that all this would happen so um so as it all continues and she talks about the experience at each at each of the tour locations and just the disrespect of like um they're in the middle of the desert starving there's only mcdonald's eight minutes away um and that's the only thing that's even out there meanwhile um i spice and her team a, a small part of her team oh i think the whole team snuck out left her friend cleopatra and the and the hairdresser left her left them there and went to eat at a steakhouse while they're starving but everybody else started nobody even wants to go with them to mcdonald's to go like you know accompany them at the, at the mcdonald's to get some food like, and they and they let them they left them there to starve and didn't even say anything snuck snuck out and she found out later on this shady really petty stuff like that like who does that you bring your friend with you you go eat and you leave your friend there to starve like are you serious she even talks about one point where she where cleopatra is in the tour bus they're sleeping thinking that they're about to be moving through the night you know like you know how tour buses go like it's like a slave ship she calls it and it really is like i've been in tour buses before it, it is very tight quarters um and so she thinks she's sleeping there thinking they're gonna wake up in a new place they wake up in the same place because ice spice was doing something and didn't want to leave at that point didn't tell nobody they're just sleeping she, they could have been out doing other things they could have planned for other things in the day you know just like really playing on her time really disrespecting her on so many levels you know and whenever she would call it out ice spice would get super um super defensive about it and super accusatory of of cleopatra so like i just I'm looking at this whole thing. I'm like, how are we allowing this? You know, this demonic person, um, I Spice, who the only reason I even ever F with her was because of Nicki Minaj, who Nicki Minaj doesn't even F with her anymore. Like she did, she screwed Nicki, Man Nicki Minaj over on the on the heavy on it deal that was supposed to go through. She screwed her over on that. Now she's over here screwing over every other artists and stuff. She's making fake relationships with, with um, Central C, breaking up relationships that he already had you know, offer for offer publicity, you know, getting off on that. Like this woman is, you know, this woman's like, this is some demonic level stuff. And it's super Illuminati. I, I've seen this before. I've seen this on other scales too. Usually it's more secretive. This one just busted out all out there like that. You know, she even said that when um, Cleopatra was saying in her videos that whenever they did go out and do things, whenever they were out, at events or whenever i spice would bring her out it was always very calculated like she said like oh let's go to the to the basketball game and they're sitting courtside like okay cool this is cute we're just going to hang out with my, with my girl my my, my um, bestie or my friend um come to find out you know the song was, was released the next day the pictures really were released and the song a new song released the next day the next day and i think it was that song that was the um the just give me the light and stop the job and I think, like the give me the light song how boxing a beat like give me the light where people say she was screaming at the at the mic or whatever um i actually kind of like that song i'm not gonna lie i kind of like that song um it's something different than she usually did maybe because she rushed it i don't know it just sounded a little different uh, um so a lot of people hated the song though most people hated it i'm one of the only ones who actually liked that song and listened to it multiple times but that song came out that that same the next day after that one so it was very just like manip manipulative not like real friendship and she always came on there she always came on a like kind of vibe ice spice would come like hey friend you know hey friend let's go hang out come on tour with me come come hang out come this you know it was always like that kind of vibe and then you get there and it's just nothing but shade and dark energy you know um and i spice when she when she responded to a lot of this in her in her twitter spaces she was acting as if like she just wanted her privacy for a little bit she's like oh she's like oh you can't like oh you mad because you can't come in my room like can a b play with her her kitty cat one time for one time can a b play with a kitty cat like she's trying to act like she was just trying to do like play with herself whatever you know whatever she's trying to act like that but it's like um if you heard what cleopatra said this was multiple times this was often you treated her disrespected her so were you always just playing with the kitty cat like is that which is that what you're just doing on tour and if you are then okay then get her a room so she can do her thing and maybe she wants to play with her kitty cat too like what, what are you talking about like what is this so dis disrespectful to um to this black woman and so i look at this whole situation and i'm like we need to just like stop making these talentless artists tal um famous just because they're willing to sell their soul and that's really what she was doing she was selling her soul and we just like looked the other way like okay it's fine no big deal um no big deal like she at least she has a, a a big a big a big yacht but now she doesn't have big yacht anymore ozempic one 
and now she ain't got a big job anymore can we let her can we leave her in the past now can we just keep moving i'm tired of hearing the same songs i'm tired of seeing the same twerk she looks even tired of twerking like it's just all a mess and i feel like how many times do we need to see her true colors be shown um before we stop blaming the victims like we blame even myself i blame baby storm at first i'm like that's shady to release those messages but baby storm was right and sometimes you need to go to those measures to expose a monster and i feel like what x spice is doing is very monstrous you know it seems like she's really sold her whole soul at this point but also based on what baby storm was saying in her original text messages in her like original you know when she was coming out against ice spice she said that she's been a mean girl that they that they weren't even friends anymore because in school because they went to school together that she had bullied her in school and then she only came back around because she saw baby storm had a music career and so she wanted to work with her producer who was riot who's still her producer now um the first song that riot even produced was for, for baby storm so she went over there took took riot from her i don't know if they were even dating maybe they were dating at that point i don't think she came here took her man um whatever producer her man i don't know i don't know what the situation was but she ne but now she's engaged or married i think she's married to baby storm is married to the, the guy she's with now but anyway like this situation is nasty like it just gives me a nasty taste and i can't listen to ice spice's music anymore like i'm i'm all for a good cancellation at this point because it's like are you serious are you just gonna disrespect all these people and they say like oh it just sucks that when you're famous things happen and people turn on you and they want to crash out like you're calling her telling her true experience with you a crash out when when even in the, all the all the six videos six or seven videos that um cleopatra made she was never yelling she was never out of control she was very much remembering every detail of the situation and being honest she was being honest even when she even the parts where she felt that she could have done something differently she was being honest about it you're calling that a crash out because you don't want to hold yourself accountable for what you did to this woman and what you did to the other woman you know and and if Nicki minaj ever gave her the time of day to expose what Nicki, what she did to Nicki minaj like imagine that that kind of conversation you know because apparently there was a big drama in the behind the scenes at the barbie at the barbie um the barbie world um photo the video shoot you know there was like a big drama and um Nicki, Nicki minaj cussed them out or something like it takes a lot to get Nicki minaj to cuss you out so whatever was going on like we always blame in Nicki minaj we blame storm baby storm we, we blame in cleopatra for being ungrateful you know but we're not blaming the actual villain in the situation and i think it really is because of light skin privilege i really do believe it's that i really do believe that so i just i don't know i'm really disgusted with this whole situation i think it's time to leave ice spice you know let let her cool off let her cool down in the in the background like she we're not losing anything if you lose her like we're not losing nothing like it's not even giving anymore it's not even giving what it used to gave and i'm just over it i'm tired of it can we please just leave ice spice in the past like if i was to be a friend to ice spice right now let me just try to be positive if i was to be a friend to her i would tell her to take a step back take a step back go to some maybe some therapy maybe some kind of i don't know i don't even mm. Go to go to. I'm not, I'm not even religious, but go get baptized or something, girl. I'm not even religious anymore, but like go get baptized by the blood of the Holy Spirit and the whatever some holy water of wherever the heck you gotta go to the the, the what is what is that river? The blood river, whatever, and wherever you gotta go to the holy river, you need to get. Oh God, you see, look at you. That's, that's probably her spirit right now. That's probably her spirit in these trees trying to shut me up <laughs> her demons the demons oh gosh oh okay it's like that that's one bug that did all that sound that is one bug a beetle or something anyways anyway but like yeah you need you need something girl like dang like you can't do people like this and think we're just gonna let it go we're just gonna pay your dust the whole time so i hope that you get the help you need I hope you get a better team that's gonna be real with you um because this is not gonna last long you know you don't even perform well your songs are copying everybody else. You know, you copy Nicki Minaj and, and the Fat Butt song. Um, like, full out copied her to the point where I have to literally look and be like, wait, is this not Nicki Minaj's song? Like, you really tried to copy her and it didn't even sound right. But it's just all a lot. Like, I'm over it. So I think we just leave Ice Spice in the past. I'm just so frustrated with what happened to Cleopatra. Like, she doesn't deserve that. I actually follow her now because, you know, I see. I think she's way more talented. And we got to really think to ourselves, why isn't Cleopatra and Baby Storm more popular than Ice Spice when they've been working harder for her, harder than Ice Spice and longer? And like Cleopatra said in, in her, her last video, the Ice Spice skipped over all the grind. 
she got given a lot of this for selling her soul she skipped over a lot of the grind her late her raps are lazy the repetitive um she skipped over the hard part but yet she's getting all the praise and all the glory so why isn't cleopatra and baby storm more famous i want to know that please answer that to me why aren't they more famous is it because of the color of their skin they're darker than her what is it what's going on you know why are we not giving giving them the credit like they are way more talented even though i'm not a big fan of baby storm because of how the situation went and i think she like also has some like mean girl spirit in her a little bit not, not really but like not as much as ice spice but yeah like why aren't they more famous and that's all i gotta say on that you guys rock on mercury let me know your opinion on this ice spice situation in the bottom in the, in the bottom let me know if i missed something or if you know something i don't know um and yeah i get you i get back to you guys on an upcoming video i gotta go but yeah like this ice spice situation out of control but nothing surprising nothing surprising all right rock on see y'all soon